Welcome to the Travel Transformation Podcast, the podcast that explores the life-changing potential of solo travel, intentional travel, and location-independent working. Whether you're an aspiring digital nomad or simply want to boost your confidence through epic travel experiences, I'm here to motivate and inspire you to go after all your wildest dreams. I'm Jessica Grace Coleman, author, travel transformation coach, founder of Flip the Script Travel Transformation Services, and your host for the Travel Transformation Podcast. Travel changed my life. Now let's change yours. You ready? Let's go. Welcome to the Travel Transformation Podcast, where we talk all things travel and all things transformation. This episode is coming to you from Kulk Bay in South Africa. I've been here for a few days now, and I am just about getting used to things around here. One of the things I've had to get used to is the load shedding, which I knew about, but I didn't know exactly the extent of it. And it's basically when they turn the power off throughout the day, um, several times a day, several hours a day sometimes, because they need to shed the load, they need to distribute the load of the power, so the power system isn't under such immense pressure, which means that all the power goes off, obviously, all the Wi-Fi goes off, so um, I've had to reschedule a lot of my podcast interviews. I had a couple banked, so that's fine. I'm going to do one uh, or two here with, hopefully, my housemates, but other than that, I'm going to do some solo episodes while I'm here, just some quick ones while I can, while the power is on and while my laptop is juiced up, while I have power. And yeah, basically, I'm in South Africa. I've come to visit my friend Irene, who I met in Spain. She's from, well, she lives in Kulk Bay generally. She's also a digital nomad, though, so she moves around quite a bit. And I'm staying with her and with Sunny, who I also met in Spain, in Javier, at the Sun & Co. co-living, along with Irene. And we're also with Alex and Ali, a couple from Germany. Germany and the USA, who are also full-time digital nomads, who we also met in Spain, and also a couple of others who I'd not met before, who Irene met in Klaus Citadel, which is a co-living in the French Alps, which also sounds very nice, which I want to go to. So I got here on Sunday morning at about 5am UK time, an overnight flight from Heathrow. So I'd been up since Friday morning and hadn't slept too well that night because I was sort of, you know, anticipating having to get up early and get going and packed and all that kind of stuff. I went to Heathrow. My dad gave me a lift down. Thank you very much. And then got on a direct flight from Heathrow to Cape Town, Virgin Atlantic. And it was a great flight. I didn't get much sleep because I never really do. But I had a whole row to myself, which is like the dream. Actually, I started off with a guy sitting next to me and he spotted another row that was free. So he moved there and they actually moved someone next to him. So he actually didn't end up with a row to himself. But I did. So that was quite good. Um, and also I was asleep when they brought the breakfast around and because I'm vegetarian they usually bring mine first sort of get it out of the way I guess I woke up and it was right next to me so I, I ate half of it put the other half away went back to sleep fitfully sleeping anyway with my mask on and sort of turned away from the aisle and then when I opened my eyes again took my mask off another breakfast had been delivered next to me so excellent service there from Vision Atlantic but yeah everyone was really great the um, air hostesses the air stewards. I'm not sure what the correct term is to use these days. They were great. And I got into Cape Town at about 5am UK time, which is 7am Cape Town time. And I met up with my friend Irene and we got an Uber to where she was staying. And then we all got an Uber together to the house. And the house is beautiful. It's just across the road from the coast. It is on a main road though. So if you can hear traffic and also the wind from the coast and the sea, the waves um, in the background. Sorry about that, but there's not much I can do about it. <laughs> and I'm recording this in a, the back bedroom with the windows closed to try and minimise the sound so it is very hot. So I don't want to do super long episodes here. I just want to interrupt this awesome podcast episode for a moment to tell you about Write Your Life the ultimate life hack for achieving your dreams by Jessica Grace Coleman, a book that teaches you how to design your dream life and then go live it. Life is what you make it. Life is what you write it to be. And you can write whatever you want. Let me show you how. The Write Your Life method gives you all the tools and techniques you need to identify your ambitions, plan your goals, and ultimately achieve all your wildest dreams, all while having fun and getting creative. And you don't need to be a writer to benefit from the Write Your Life method. This book can help anyone, anywhere design their ultimate dream lifestyle. Get it now from Amazon or head to www.traveltransformationcoach.com forward slash books. 
You'll also get a digital copy completely free when you sign up to the Flip the Script Academy at traveltransformationcoach.com forward slash academy, where we teach you that life is short. So let's make sure it's nothing short of amazing. And now let's get back to the Travel Transformation Podcast. But yeah, it's really nice to be here. It's nice to be able to just get on a plane and go where you want and work where you want. But that is the beauty of being a digital nomad. And I know I can learn a lot from the people here because there are several like Sunny, Alex and Ali. They're constantly on the road, been digital nomads for years. They don't really have a base. They just constantly move around. So I'm learning all kinds of things about where to visit, which festivals are good to go to, which are sort of hyped up and which are ones to avoid. All kinds of things. I'm going to do an interview with Sunny, my friend, tomorrow during load shedding because if it's just the two of us in this room we don't need the internet to record the sound so we're going to make the most of the time when the power is off and we're going to well have to make sure my laptop is charged up and yeah we're going to record them then but the load shedding is weird like I've not got many zoom calls or things like some of the people here have um so I can imagine it being really annoying for them and it is but you can go to cafes and stuff because a lot of them have backup generators so you can use the wi-fi there and it is mainly the wi-fi rather than the power because you can obviously keep things charged up but it is strange because you know 10 o'clock every night or every night i've been here i think it's gone off at 10 uh, every weeknight anyway so you'll just be sitting having dinner with everyone or you know after dinner um having drinks or whatever at the table talking laughing and then you'll be plunged into darkness (laughs) and it happens every time but i kind of forget it's coming every time and then we've got like battery powered lights that we use downstairs and obviously we can use the torches on our phone as long as our phones are being kept charged up which is another thing i need to remember because my battery on my phone is terrible but i've got a portable charger so i keep that charged up as well so i can use that if i need to during load shedding and yeah it's just a weird thing there's an app we use to check the load shedding times it's called esp it stands for something but i can't at the moment think what it is escom si push something like that and you put in your location because it's different all over South Africa and it tells you which stage you're at. Um, it goes up to stage six, I think, maybe stage five. And it tells you the times for the load shedding currently and the load shedding times for the next day. And they do change, so you have to keep checking it. But I can only check when it's not load shedding because I'm not using my data because it costs me six pounds a day through O2 to use the data, which is useful if I'm out and about and I need it for emergency purposes or because I'm lost or whatever but generally I've been trying not to use it so I have to keep ahead of the ESP app and keep checking it while I do have (laughs) Wi-Fi. So yeah that's just something to keep in mind. I know it happens in other countries too but South Africa in particular have had some big problems with it recently and a lot of pushback obviously has happened because of it and there is some good parts to it though. The other day we came back, well the other night we came back from a night out. This is my first day here and I was up all day and we went to a concert and then we went to a pub and then uh, I was so out of it by this point because I hadn't slept in a long time and at this point we only had one set of keys to the house and there were seven of us so some of us got an uber back and also because we're in a sort of small smallish coastal town there are ubers around but not that many so often we've had to wait for them during prime times especially so some of us managed to get an uber back but no one with the house keys. So we had to wait for the others to get an Uber, which was about half an hour or so. So we went across the road to the tidal pool. And there's quite a few tidal pools here, so you can swim in those safely without being subjected to sharks and that kind of thing. They are quite cold, so I've only dangled my legs in them so far. I'm actually recording this now while my housemates are out at the tidal pool across the road. And I thought I'd get some recording done while the house is quiet, or quietish. I'm sure you can still hear the noise outside. And yeah, we went there and we were waiting there. And it was about... 1am I'm not entirely sure I was really out of it by this point and we were there and we can sort of see across a bay it's called False Bay and we could see the coast on the other side with all the the houses dotted around all lights on and then all at once all the lights went off because of load shedding and this was my first night so I hadn't really got my head around the whole load shedding thing yet But it was really cool. They all went out at once and then we kind of looked up at the sky and the night sky and the stars, which just seemed so much brighter because it was so much darker. And it was just quite magical. Could be because we were quite drunk as well, though. So (laughs) maybe don't take my word for it on that. But, it, you know, there are some pros to it sometimes. And it is always a kind of comedy moment where you're in the middle of a sentence and then the whole house gets plunged into darkness. 
but it's often off from 10 p.m. till 12.30. So if you go up to bed in between those times, you need to remember to turn off the lights if you had them on when load shedding started, because otherwise they will turn on and wake you up at midnight or half 12. And that's kind of annoying. Anyway, I'm going to start rambling now. I basically wanted to do just a really quick check in podcast episode to explain why there might not be so many interviews coming up and to check the sound and things like that. I've got my mini travel mic with me rather than my hefty Blue Yeti mic that I usually have because I could not take that in my suitcase. It would have taken up a lot of my weight limit. So I'm going to check out the sound. Hopefully it's okay. And yes, please keep listening. Normal service will resume soon. I am here for eight weeks or just over seven now. So I'm going to try and figure something out. But if not, I've got a lot of interviews, some great interviews ready to record when I get back to the UK. So yeah, please bear with me. Thank you for listening. Hopefully the sound was okay. And until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Travel Transformation Podcast with me, Jessica Grace Coleman. If you enjoyed this episode, please rate and review and spread the word if you have friends or family who also want to transform through travel. For a chance of winning one of my books in ebook form, please review this podcast on Apple Podcasts and send a screenshot or just your name to info at traveltransformationcoach.com or at traveltransformationcoach on Instagram. I'll be picking a new winner each month and you can choose between any of my non-fiction titles including Write Your Life, Write Your Year and Intentional Travel Transformation. You can find out more about me at traveltransformationcoach.com where you can also get your free travel transformation guide. And until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.